All right, we got a turtle dove sitting here up on the fence. And uh, let's see if we can get him. Let me get, set this camera up and take a shot. Oh, there it is. I can't believe I made that shot. We had a lot of drop, but uh, we got it. All right, guys. Today we're going to be testing out the Cygnus Bold. I've got high expectations for this one. Let's see how it performs. Oh, man. There it is. Just like I thought. All right, guys, we just took our first shots with the with the Cygnus Bold. Um, so far, uh, I'm pretty impressed considering we're shooting in this kind of cold and we're we're looking at uh, at around minus 16, minus 20, minus 21 of the wind chill. It's really damn cold out today, so we're getting a lot of drop off on the bands. Just need to uh, make an adjustment, but we still made some pretty damn good shots from around 22, 23 meters. We put a a, a good pop on that can and. We put a good pop on this turtle dove here that we had sitting up on top of the fence. It was a pretty nice shot. Um, unfortunately, this guy fell backwards and I couldn't hit it anymore after, but uh, anyway. Then right after that, we went to about 15 meters, took a bunch of shots on the cans and hit it a bunch of times. So, um, so far the first impressions are really good. I'm gonna bring you in close. Uh, we're gonna take a good close up of it, take a look at the frame. We're gonna do a comparison. We're gonna do a, uh, uh, we're talking about the grip. We're going to give the close-ups of the grip, see how, how it holds while we're shooting, see if there's any twisting or moving or sliding. And uh, we're just going to have some fun. So let me get this camera turned around. We'll take a look at the, uh, at the frame up close, and we'll talk about specs. Okay. So here's a nice close-up of the Cygnus Bold. Nice solid construction made of a very durable material, which is G10. This stuff will take an absolute beating. I guess we should just get right into the specs, but first... We've got some Falcon Yellow 0.55 on here. And uh, in this kind of cold, I should have chosen a different band, but uh, this was already set up, ready to go. All right, so I measured the overall length of this guy from the bottom of the handle to the tip of the fork, came in at 133 millimeters or just over five inches and a quarter. All right, now the fork width on this guy from side to side comes in at 90 millimeters or 3.54 inches. We've got 23 millimeter or just over seven eighths of an inch tips that are equipped with nice G10 clips and a fiber optic sight. And the overall weight of this guy is 137 grams or 4.8 ounces. And that's with a band set and a pouch. I'd like to take a bunch of consecutive shots just to see how the frame feels. Uh, while doing this, I did happen to notice something uh, about the fiber optic sight. Uh, we will get into this uh, shortly, right after we do the uh, comparison and the grip. So stay tuned. Well, that's 10 shots. Uh, very close to the bullseye or around the bullseye. Uh, I had one, one flyer so far. Frame's feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna take a few more shots and we'll talk about some uh, we'll talk about the uh, grip Well, all right, then before we get into the grip. Let's have a quick comparison of the uh, Original g10 version versus the bold version now if we take a look at the forks Forks are just about the same same width both of them are 90 90 uh, millimeters However, I, I did notice that the cup the fork cup on the bold is slightly shallower than the uh, than the than the original. The profiles are slightly different. You got more of a fork forward uh, on the bold, and this one's basically a straight frame. Does have a little slight uh, cutout for the finger for grip. This one has a much larger one, 
And when you're holding them, you'll feel the corners on these things are actually, I'm not gonna say sharp, but they're, uh, they're definitely more pronounced, the corners, than the smoothed out version of this one. Now, if I'm comparing the two, both of them hold really, really well. However, the Bold is more comfortable. Uh, which one is more secure? I don't know uh, what I would say about that because the uh, original Cygnus is probably one of the most secure frames I've ever shot. So let's just put, let's just put this guy away for now. So now that we're on the, uh, talking about the grip, uh, we have this nice little swell here where we can actually lock uh, about one and a half fingers in there, which is pretty nice. You wrap these guys around. The uh, fork forward gives you this bit of a swell in the back, which fills your palm a bit more. It's smoother, rounder, definitely more comfortable. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a couple of shots with this downrange, and uh, we're going to see um, if there's any movement at all when I'm letting the, letting these uh, these shots rip. I've got to so, tell you, this frame really locks nice into your hand. There's absolutely no play, and it's freezing cold out here today. Usually, if you're going to have any kind of slipping, it usually comes at the thumb. Take a close look. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays right where I put it. Use another angle to confirm. It doesn't go anywhere. Nothing budged. Well, I got to say, guys, this frame holds really, really well. I think we saw from the, uh, the close-up video and the slow-mo, there was no slipping, sliding. My thumb wasn't coming off there, slipping off or anything like that. And uh, let me tell you, a good holding frame is always going to be probably one of the most accurate shooting you have in your collection. So for me, two thumbs up on the uh, Cygnus Bold hold. <laughs> anyway, let's do some more shooting. Not a bad grouping. Not my best shooting. Uh, there's one thing that I've noticed uh, that I, I have to mention uh, right off the bat that's a bit of a con. Is this fiber optic sight... I'm gonna bring you in close and show you what the deal is with this. Uh, I really, really don't like it. Uh, it's actually a little bit too big coming off the frame and it blocks my target uh, when I'm shooting. So just to be clear about what I'm talking about uh, when I'm complaining about this fiber optic sight uh, shooting at these, uh, at these flippers here. So just to be clear, the top flipper in the box is an eight centimeter. The bottom one here, the white one is a uh, six centimeter and those three at the bottom are four centimeters. Now have a look at this. This is from 10 meters. Okay. So I've got my face pretty much just behind the camera so I can see what I'm shooting at. So you guys can get a real uh, look at the issue. So you see that fiber optic site there completely covers the eight or just about. Let's go down to the six. Six is gone. And Forget about the fours. You won't see a damn thing. Now, this is only at 10 meters, so we're shooting pretty close. Now, imagine at 15 or 20. All of those they disappear, and they're being completely blocked by, by that thing. So when I was making those long shots, just to show you what I was doing, I was actually aiming off the band at the top of the fork and then just moving up or down just guessing. Uh, I don't like to guess when I shoot. So for me, this fiber optic sight is no good. So as with most uh, Prime 4 catapult frames, the pocketability of these things are great. Um, because of the smoothness of them, uh, they'll slide in and out of any po purse, pocket, pouch, or bag. Uh, not a problem. Also, your uh, the weight of them is uh, it's got a little bit more weight to it than some of the other frames, but it's actually still by far not too heavy to carry in your pocket or your bag. So uh, definitely two thumbs up. And you're getting a great quality, accurate shooter uh, from Prime 4 Catapults. Can't really go wrong. Not at all. Great stuff. All right, let's go big to small.
Oh, I just caught the edge of it. Let's have another go with that little white guy there. There we go. And the green one. There it is. Not bad at all. Let's have some final thoughts. All right, what can we say about this Cygnus Bold, guys? Well, first of all, the overall shooting experience was really nice. Uh, the frame was pretty intuitive. Put it into my hand, started shooting right away, and within two shots, I was on target, and uh, it stayed like that for uh, for the majority of the video, even in this kind of cold. Uh, there was a slight adjustment we needed to do with the uh, with the bands, but that's got nothing to do with the frame. Fit and finish of there is pretty nice. The comfortable, it's really really comfortable. Locks in the hand real well. There's no slip sliding, wiggling or moving, nothing like that uh, while you're shooting, which is great. And in cold, dry conditions like this, it absolutely makes a big difference. The 23 millimeter clips, I really like. I tend to cut my bands at 22 millimeters, so it works out perfect for me. But you could definitely squeeze a 24 on there if you needed to. So, right, the pocketability of this frame is really damn good. You can slide this in any purse, pouch, pocket, or bag. Uh, not a problem. Carry it with you anywhere you want. The weight is pretty much on point. Uh, it's got a little bit of weight to it, which is nice because it helps with the recoil and, uh, it'll slide easily in and out of a pocket because of the handle design. It locks your hand in so well that even if, even though it's really smooth, it still won't slip around on you, which is pretty good. So, um, that leads me to the con. So the con is this, this, uh, fiber optic sight for me, that's an nope. I give that two thumbs down actually, because aiming from a far distance and shooting on these uh on any kind of flipper from a longer distance or any target that little fiber optic sight uh blocks whatever it is you're shooting out and it that really covers up your target which is a major problem for me i really don't like that but um the good thing about it is if this is a custom frame you can have that removed and just ask for a regular clip and if you do happen to like fiber optic sights guys no problem don't listen to a word i say go ahead and get it if you if you like it if this is just my opinion but uh, for the most part, everything else about this frame, except for those clips, in my opinion, is spot on. If you're looking for a new frame and you want to get something that's going to be uh, a pocketable, a good holding EDC slash hunting frame uh, or target shooting, anything you want to do, this will get you going. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. You guys take care, stay safe, get up, practice and be good to each other. I'll see you again soon. I love you guys. You're freaking awesome. And it's freaking cold. I'm going inside. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me, subscribe, and click that bell notification so you know when I'm putting out a new vid. I've been a big fan of Prime 4 catapults for a long time, and this one is no different. We've did some great shooting with this frame, even with that problem with that clip, but that's something easily fixed and remedied. All you have to do is let them know when you order your frame to not put that clip in. On this end screen here, I'm going to attach two videos for you to check out. One of them is going to be a, a Beagle versus the Beagle 2. And we'll do the other one will be the uh, Cygnus review. Hope you guys enjoy. Take care.